okay, we're gonna save you a ton of money. I know we do that all the time, but this time is big money. From diesel or gas pacers to rocket-powered racers. Nomads, Gomads, RV schoolies. Turn it, tweak it, tune it, fix it so smoothly. That's why he's badge. Everybody needs one. Back sports fans, workers, or anything, pumps, anything to do with a gas motor. Um, this one's four cycle, not necessarily two cycle, but four cycle. So the, all the generators, the big thing with the generators, because what the problem is, is that you run the generator and you get gasoline in it. Now, 85, 87 uh, have a little bit of ethanol in them. 94 doesn't, but a little bit of ethanol does cause some issues, but the 89, I've never really found that problem with. 89 and above, it was just like 87, 85. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to modify your generator so that you don't have to take it apart to do it. So if you look at the generator, you got the carburetor right here, right? Now I've taken this all apart to play with it. So you got the carburetor there. So you take this off here. Now, you have this bowl on the bottom, right? Now it's got a screw on it. Now this screw drains the fuel in the bowl. Now, the problem is with the automatic shut off, like the, all the high end generators use, they're using this off, gasoline off and engine off. And what that does, it doesn't allow you to run it out of gasoline. So what you have to do is just turn it off and then what we're going to do is we're going to flatten it on two sides and that'll go in there and seal up against the jet instead of taking it out every time. We're going to take that off and flatten it out and then we're going to, the line that runs down here from the fuel bowl runs down through here and this is the hose that comes out the bottom and what we're going to do is put a sheet metal screw in there. Now, a sheet metal screw will go in there and it'll seal up, okay? And then now when you want to drain your um, carburetor, which I'll show you in a minute, you take this screw out and Bob's your uncle, basically, okay? I'll show you how that works. So that's why you only take two sides off. Now, the reason we're doing this is see the screw, how it's all screwed up? The screw is all screwed up. But anyway, and that, you can't get it out. So we're going to put it in there and leave it. So what you do is put this back in. And then just snug it up. Don't, it's not holding the head bolts in. So you don't need to super tighten it. Just give it a snug. And then what we'll do is we'll put some brake clean in there, of course. And we'll check. And you'll see that it will. Okay. It'll leak out. That's what you want it to do. So that's what we do. We flatten two sides, and that's where it bleeds out. I'll come back, and I'll show you something else. Okay, so now, a couple of things you got to remember about the fuel system that nobody's going to tell you is that you got the vent on the top of the uh, tank that you open up, and that lets air in. While well, you're on the desert and it's blowing dust, the dust goes into the um, tank. Another thing is is that on the back, this is the carburetor, on the back side of the, this goes against, uh, this is on the, against the engine. There's a port that goes up here. That is an air bleed for the carburetor. And when it's running in the dirt, the dirt will go up in through here and get in there and dirt will get into the carburetor. That's why you gotta clean it every once in a while. This way, if you put that vent on there, that drain, now you can just drain it and it'll probably be just fine. Now, if everybody goes on about these carburetors being a big deal, these things are like 20 or 30 bucks off Amazon. It's not a big deal. Now, if you don't want to clean them, buy a new carburetor. But with your, when you start the generator, it goes, or it just runs off a choke, the carburetor's dirty. So what you do is you get a brake clean with a straw on it. And if you don't know what the straw is, it's a, there's a joke behind it. But you get a straw and you just blow down through these holes, right? And you make sure there's nothing in it, right? And clean that all out, all the way through. Now, if you don't want to take the carburetor apart, 
you don't necessarily have to, but you have a jet right here, the main jet. Make sure that's clear, and all this is clear, and the vent, the bowl, the you'll see the bowl vent is right here. That's the vent for the bowl right here. So you got to make sure there's all clean, and then just clean it up. Now there's a whole zillion experts with videos on carburetors and clean them, but just so you know. I have probably fixed a lot of generators and I've never replaced a carburetor yet. Never. So all you have to do is just clean it out. And it's not that I teach people that don't even know what a screwdriver is to do this. So that's all. Just clean this out. You can take the jet out and clean it out. Put a little wire through it or something and clean it out and check the um, fuel going in. That's the air bleed right there. So you just make sure that's clear, right? Yeah. And that'll go right through the other side and just clear it up. It's simple, 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 simple. But you can put a carburetor on too, okay? okay? There's two gaskets on the carburetor. The one on the outside that the air cleaner goes to is not a big deal. This is the big deal. This one here, because it seals up against the engine and there's a vacuum port here, which has to be clear. But you have to make sure that, see that ring? That ring there has to seal. So some guys are really anal about silicone. I use silicone all my life. It hasn't killed me yet, but um, you can use high tack spray or whatever. The only problem with you use high tack spray, when you put this gasket on, it's done. You can't take it apart. Where if you put silicone on it, you can take it off and then you just rub it and the silicone will come off, right? You just take the silicone back off it because all you want is a little skimp on the edge where you have to seal. That's it. And it fills in all the because if you get a vacuum leak, it'll give you that stuff, right? So you got to be very careful about that. But, and that's all that was the matter with that Honda, remember? Was he put the gasket in wrong. So, very important, this gasket. This is the one that goes against the engine. Okay, now this is the carburetor of the engine. This is the engine side. This is a gasket. Now you see, this is the way it goes. Now you see, that center piece I told you, that's got a seal. That has to seal. This bottom one, it's not a big deal because that's the vent, the air vent for going up there, right? So the big important piece is right here, that little bit right there. Now, just remember when you put the carburetor on, if you put silicone here, you have to put silicone for the bolts because it's only a thou or two thou, but it won't like it. So just remember that. Just put a thin layer on there and make sure you don't get silicone down in here because it'll block that air bleed and then it won't like it either okay so now you see i got the copper coat on the gasket i ain't tried copper coat if i break it i'll show you to make a new one now remember the this has got electronic module on it so now to get the wire off there's a plug right underneath this cover so you just unplug it make sure it's plugged in all the way and then you put the cover back on okay like so and then you'll be you'll be ready to go to the races like if i can get this figured out how to go but yeah you put the cover back on it and then it's good to go right like so then slide make sure this is clean and put it up against the gasket now when you put it against the gasket with copper coat as soon as it touches it you can't move it okay so just remember that i'll leave that think about that one for a while you see, I got it hooked up, and it's running. So that's just to show you. See, it's not leaking. Now, there's gas right to here. Now, if you want, you can put a valve in here, a valve, a check valve or something. Some of the Yamahas are coming with it now. That's where I got the idea from. But that way, when you go to start to shut it off, say you don't know how long you're going to run it. A month, a week, two weeks, or like... Some of them uh, hobos out here will take it and run it, and then they won't run it for a month. But that gas in there will just make, a, especially if it's ethanol, it makes like a jelly. So um, that's what you do. Now, when you're done with it, all you do is take the Phillips screwdriver and take the screw out. And then it's, it's off. So no gas will come out of it. Just take the screw out. And like we always say, 
Bob's your uncle. And then just let it drain. You know, it doesn't have to drain out like pour out. So just drain it out. And then when it's done, the bowl's empty. Now, when you remember, when the bowl's empty, you have to get the gas in it. So you have to choke it. The Honda's pretty good. If it's full of gas, it'll start without choking sometime. See, that's it. Done. Gas is out of it. It's empty. So that's it. Then just put the screw back in it because if you leave it out, you could get dirt in there. And if you're like me with the exact metal screw you need, then you can just take this here, put the screw in it, and it won't leak, and just tighten it up. And it's got a taper on it, so it pushes the hose tighter when you go in. Right? Tighten it up so it's snug, and then push it up in the hole like so. Bob's your uncle. That's all you have to do. And you say, you could probably save taking this to a generator shop. Or a, well, no, they don't want to do it anyway. That's all you have to do, though. If it starts running rough or won't start, that's probably all it is. Either that or spark plug. Because most of these generators aren't even a year old. A lot of them aren't. Anybody can do it. It's easy as pie. And, uh, yeah, I'll leave that with you. I hope you get something out of it. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are traits deeply ingrained in our country's DNA. For many of us who travel this glorious country of ours, we thrive as we engage with and witness its awesome bounty. Unfortunately, many of our brothers and sisters who've helped make all of this possible aren't thriving. Visit HeroSoapCompany.com and place your order using coupon code BADGE at checkout. Not only will you receive a discount, but you'll be helping Badge help our vets.